Okay, Professor Melly Mel, we're here in the lab. We're here with JC, my granddaughter. How are you doing today? Tired. Tired? <laughs> well, I just wanted to know, just so people would understand, so how do, what's in the front of the head or the front of the brain? What part of that region is that? Well, there's different lobes in your brain, but the frontal lobe is your temporal lobe, which is used for understanding and reasoning. So what about the middle sp- there's multiple parts of the middle. There's the parietal and there's also um, what is it? Something that's probably used for um, your olfactory. Um, olfactory? Senses of smell. Okay. So in the back of the brain, what is that usually? That's your occipital lobe. That's used for your sight. That's why people, when they get um, hit on the back of the head, they either their uh, sight goes blurry or they go blind. Uh huh. Because it works with your eyes. So, if I raise, if what works for my right side? If I use my right side of my arm, what side of the brain is working? Your left side. Your left side. So it's opposite. If I use my left side of my arm, then what side of my brain is working? Your right side. Right side. And technically, actually, there's an interesting fact that everybody knows. Not everybody knows, but this, um, this has actually been done before. Um, your each lobe, of, each um, half of your brain is ready to take over um, that the uh, the opposite side of the brain if it were to fail. So there was um, a surgery done on a little girl that had brain sur- brain um, cancer in one side of her head, and um, they had to remove um, her right lobe, her um, entire right half of her brain, uh-huh. and the left brain, the left um, side of her head. Um, basically took over her entire right side and took over the entire um, function of the right side. Wow. It's an interesting kind of thing. It is very interesting. So just for the audience, so people know, how old are you, JC? Fifteen. Fifteen. And what grade will you be attending this year? Eleventh. Eleventh. So are you taking any college courses? Yes, Cinema 1, 2, 3. Cinema 1, 2, 3. And you also have a MacBook where you like you're an artist, right? What are some of your drawings? Talk to us about your drawings. I'm interviewing you. You my grand interview, my granddaughter. I got to interview you. No, you don't. You really don't. I mean, I think there's different ones. Uh, oh yeah, that's beautiful right there. Look at that. Wow, look at that. That's all that's interesting stuff, Jesse. That's really beautiful. So, when you go, when you attend art school, right? Are you attending art school or are you just doing this freehand? Um, I haven't attended art school. This is self taught. But um, I do want to go to art college for uh-huh. So, when, when all that's done, what do you hope to be? What are your ambitions? What do you want to be? Either a um, comic artist or um, an anim- animator. Well, I'd probably be an animator full time and then have comic as my side job. And, and how long do you hope to achieve all this? Uh, by my late 20s. Late 20s. So in your early 20s, the, there's really no time for fun right now, really. It's all just all education, well, right? Well, to me it's fun. Um, drawing is fun. It, well, I'm not it's... talking that from that perspective. I'm talking about you're building your life as we talk, right? Yes. Um, I'm looking at colleges, looking at, I actually wanted to go abroad for the, my last year of high school, so I'm looking at um, other um, abroad programs, just in case COVID ends and I'm able to do what I want. And how happy are you right now? I'm very happy. And you're happy because of that guy? <laughs> that one. <laughs> he just got home, right? Yeah, he did. Okay. So I just want to thank you for doing sitting down with your grandfather and just, you know, making him feel good about this interview. And you did you did a really great job explaining the brain, the function of the brain. So I'm sure I'm certainly no expert. I am definitely not a biologist, but I do have an affinity for everything medical. Okay, Professor Melly Mel, we're in the lab with JC and we are out.